Hello, my boon companions. It's me, Nikki, and today um, I'm doing something a little different. Um, I am going to tell you what I'm going to be reading in March, but I'm also going to be um, telling you what games I'm going to be playing because I have posted gaming videos on this channel and um, something I'd like to achieve uh, before the end of the month. So let's start with the games. First, I'm going to be finishing Doom because Doom 2 or whatever it is called comes out on the 20th. Uh, I'm also going to be finishing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I finished the main game. I'm now on the um, Atlantis DLC. And then over on my Twitch channel, I'm going to be playing uh, the first Witcher game and the first Bioshock game. Those are the four games I plan on finishing. Now for books. Uh, a lot of them, most of them, are the books I was supposed to read last month. So, Dragons of Autumn Twilight, which I believe, yes, it's the first in the Dragonlance Chronicles, and I think this is the first one where you meet everybody, um, like the elf and the dwarf and the twins, their names all escape me at the moment. Put that down there, hopefully books don't fall. Um, Talesian or Talesian, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, this is about uh, Druids Atlantis, which I just saw, uh, and uh, the Romans invading Britain, and as the cover says, Merlin and King Arthur. Um, Anne of Avonlea, the second in Anne of Green Gables. These are the only two I have, one and two. Um, I bought them ages ago when I was a little kid. I don't know if I'll read the rest of them. I know there's like seven or something. I know there's a lot of them. Um, the Ring of Five Dragons by Eric Van Lustbader. Um, it's the first. I have the first two books. I don't know if there's any more after that. Bookmark fell out. I'm gonna have to look that up. Um, Crooked Kingdom, the second of the Six of Crows duology. I'm very interested in this. I don't know why. It's sort of like, have you ever had like a thing that you like and you know if you read it or watch it or eat it, then you won't have it anymore? <laughs> That's kind of like what I'm doing with this. I'm like, but I know I'll like it, but if I just put it off. I don't want to make a tower of books. Um, the next one I'm going to read is The Italian Secretary by Caleb Carr, who wrote The Alienist. As it says, it's a further adventure of Sherlock Holmes. Um... It's not, because I know there's one when he's older, it's not that. I think it is literally like, he continues writing it. Um, so yeah, that'll be interesting. I like Sherlock Holmes. I like historical mysteries. Uh, next we have The Conquering Family. Um, it is about the Plantagenets. So, Henry the Second, Richard the Second, no, Richard the First, and Richard the Second, and Richard the Third, and John, um, and all of them, and the people that came before them. So, I like that family, and it's history, it's good stuff. Um, next is the Assassin's Apprentice. I am, I'm not that deep into it. As you can sort of tell by the bookmark. But I do plan on reading it. I'm currently reading that one. I am also currently reading The Yard. By Alex Grisha. And it is a historical mystery. Set in Victorian London. Just after the Metropolitan 
police didn't catch Jack the Ripper, and a Scotland Yard inspector is found dead, and it's up to uh, the 11 detectives left, because there's 12, there were 12 for the murder squad, it's up to the 11 left, um, to find out what happened, and it's up to specifically, uh, Inspector Walter Day, who is a brand new, uh, hire, and the first forensic pathologist, Dr. Bernard Kingsley. So, yes. This will be fun. And then finally, I'm also currently reading The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. I am super excited for this one. I've heard good things about it, so I can't wait. Um, and yes, I'm not reading all three at once. I sort of like pick the one I really want to read and then I read them. But who knows? We shall see. Now, uh, I said there was one thing I wanted to do, and it's related to the other thing I want to do. So, the first, the, the second thing I want to do, sorry, that's confusing, is um, I noticed that I have a lot of historical mysteries and um, medieval mysteries. Uh, cause like that one was, the yard is historical, but it's not medieval, but I do have a lot of medieval. So I thought I'd like to do a little series about historical or medieval, um, mystery books that I think people would like. Um, and related to that, I would like to learn how to edit videos because I don't edit them. I don't know how I tried once and I thought I got it but I didn't um, so I'd really like to learn that because I think it would be cool if when I talk about a medieval mystery to have medieval music or have like a title card or just something fun um, I don't want it to be like flashy or anything I just want it to be simple because I am simple <laughs> I'm like a basic bitch if you will I enjoy the simple things um, oh, I just noticed you can see my messy table. Sorry about that. So yeah, I'd like to learn how to do that so I can, um, do this series that I, I mean, I'd pro I'll probably do it anyway. And then as I learn, I would like to add that stuff onto my channel. Um, and then there's another thing I wanted to do is uh, I'm writing a book. I've been writing writing it for a while. I've had bad writer's block and like stuff happened in life as life does. Um, but I'm hoping that maybe if I talk about it on my channel and share it with people, it will, you know, make me want to write more of it. Cause it's like, I have it all planned out. I just have to physically write it. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing in March, um, and I'm very excited about it. Um, if you have any recommendations for editing software, I mean, I'm going to use Google, but I would like recommendations and that would be great, like, especially an easy one. Something that's easy to use because I don't know anything about editing and I, it's intimidating. I don't know how, how uh, other people do it in on all honesty. It's like magic to me. I don't understand it. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm going to do in March. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.